Is that running? Does anybody know if this is running or not? That's what the light means, right? From the Community Broadcast Center in Versailles, Ohio, it's You're in Sports with Summer and Colin. Hello, Versailles, Ohio. You're all looking fit. On tonight's show, we have legendary Versailles badminton pro and local pharmacist, Robert Sprague. And our first big time guest. Oh yes, and this is really, really exciting. Eddie Leeper, star left fielder for the Central Ohio Eagles. Should be a lot of fun. I'm Colin Tickler. And I'm Summer Tickler Hoogerhide. And, and you're, you're in sports. sports. The two of you are such big celebrities in the sales. Has it affected your life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, the whole celebrity thing isn't new to us. Our mother was the actress Evelyn Anders. Mm. We've seen her films, we've seen her TV shows. She's a star. There's been so much interest, so much fascination about who I am. Who is Evelyn Anders? I'd like to know myself. You film buffs out there and may know from some of her films, no phone of her own. It's in the genes. Hmm. Please don't fruga my bippy. Kill hippie, kill, kill. Mother's last film, which has become something of a cult classic. Mother hated that film. She did not. When father found it on video, he chased her around the block, waving the cassette. She locked herself in the bathroom. <laughs> Lots of people. Remember when the fire department had to come? Sometimes people decide to decorate their bathrooms on a whim, tear out the marble tile. At two <clears> in the morning with a nail file. I met Evelyn. Still feels odd to call her Evelyn. She's so iconic to me. I was at the University of Miami in the undergrad acting department, and she came and taught a, a, a master class. Uh, and it was one of those classes that I, I think every student deserves that was just transformative to me. Of course, local Ohioans remember our mother from Saturday mornings. WPPU Cartoon Funhouse with Evelyn Anders and... You know, I tried the whole Hollywood thing. <laughs> Honey Bump, the singing marmoset. After I graduated from junior college, mother made some calls on my behalf. She saw into my soul. She transformed me. That was the moment that I decided that I wanted to be an actor. Uh, unfortunately, most of the people she had worked with in the 60s were either dead or worse. And I, I went out on my own. I struggled for a little while. I, um... It's Honey Bump! <laughs> Oh, come back. I'm sorry, I'll put him away. I'll put him away. I promise. If anyone would mention Independence Day, she'd sort of yell, you got that right, mister. And then she'd take another shot and just start to laugh. 